Yeah. So, um, if you want the character to move with the camera, that's you would have um, this kind of movement, right? Uh, where you can strafe while uh, rotating. Uh, you know, you can walk back, walk forward. Now, I didn't, I didn't plug in. Uh, uh, a walk back or running back animation, so that's what you see that the character is too straight for when I move back, but uh, the others are plugged in. So, here in Genblend, uh let's go to the. Uh, yeah, so, here, right? So, wherever you have it, like here, here, you know, wherever you want it to be, the one that I'm using right now is, is here. So um, here you have uh, two variables, of course, uh, the walk direction, the walk speed. Uh, here is where you would put in the run backward animation, right here, and here is where you put in the walk backward animation. You would also put the walk backward here and the run backward here. Here you have the run forward, the walk forward, here you have the left strafe that's left running strafe here here you have the just the walk strafe to the left here you have the right walk strafe the running right walk strafe here you have the run forward the walk forward but all of these down here are just items right so um the way this works is here you in the uh, man bp the main the parent uh, character blueprint under the movement graph you will just come to this place where you have the game padding queue or uh, yeah the game padding queue actually does all the work so here you would just enable this Normally it would be uh, off by default, it would be something like this. So if you wanted the character to rotate with <coughs> the camera's rotation, you would just plug it in like that. So that's this segment. <coughs> so now to show you um, the default way, uh, the way uh, the third person character moves, uh, where you can uh, move uh, your character in any direction and the camera can also move in any direction that's, uh, that's what I'm going to show you right now the default way and you see that that same lens space works for both you know, so you have this you know see you understand what I'm saying right so this is it right here Now this is just to show you um, how to apply, how to use uh, animation notifiers. A uh, very simple uh, showcase. Um, so, say you wanted a, a, a step sounds for when you move. Just of course you create your notify, uh, new notify, whatever. But you know there are already some here for you to use. So, for example, if you use the step, you know, you just place it wherever you, um, you want the sound to play. You see, you got it set up on all of these. And the way it works is uh, here. Uh, let's see, step, step. Where am I gonna find step now? Uh, there are a lot. Of okay, let's uh, just search for step. Um, okay, here actually it's in the SFX graph. So here, if you use the footstep sounds um, package from the marketplace, uh, I highly recommend it. Um, uh, this is already set up for you. So all you need to do is just within your Man BP blueprint, you just come here and plug in your. Uh, 
just uh, plug in your asset files here you know you choose the recipe uh, cues here you just plug them in here that's all but uh, everything else has been done for you uh, the if you check in the SFX graph here as well you have everything that's supposed to be done in here done you know plus there I wrote my own um, uh, SFX blueprints you know so you have and we're gonna get to this later but Basically, if you're using the footstep sounds, uh, you have everything set up here. So just plug in your footstep sounds and you're good to go. And uh, these here are <coughs> all set up as well, right? So this is the way they work. So when you move, you'd hear that sound, right? You'd hear the, the sounds and they'll be dependent on the physical materials that are interacting with the player's feet. So if you went into your project settings, and you went into uh, okay let's see where am i gonna find that is it physics okay so yeah here you would just set up the surface types as a, what we wanted you know water or a wood or you know that part you might have to do yourself but apart from that that's it like if i were to open up um, this is um, my own projected drive here. If I were to open up a project settings just to see uh, impute physics. <sighs> okay, so here you have it. I could just set it up for you anyway. Wood, concrete, water, grass. So there, and that's all. So right now everything is set up for you. Um, just hook up your sound cue files, and you should start hearing sounds just like that, just like that. Suppose you know, just, that's it. <laughs> 